Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at the best graphic settings that you guys are going to need. First, I'm going to show you all the different graphic settings in the game itself. And then I'm going to help you on how to optimize your PC in case you are playing the game on a PC. So let's dive into this video. First, we're going to be taking a look here at the different graphics. So as you're able to see here, we have different options and we're going to be taking a look here at first at the graphics and we go down. And we are able to see we have the different type of frame limit if you guys want to do 30 frames per second or whatever i'm going to set this and this is more of a personal i would do unlimited because um even i'm on pc so pc gives a lot more now i know xbox gets uh 60 40 and 30 so uh, make your judgment uh respectively now i'm going to come here and fill up you i always like to put it at 100 because it just gives me a better, especially when you're playing a first person, which you have, and also you have the option to play as the third person in this game. So I'm gonna put that at 100 because it gives me that view of a broader, um, as I'm, I'm fighting, so I can see more on my left and my right. Motion blur, I always like, it's usually like a 20, I think it was, but either put it at, at zero, I'm gonna put this at zero. I don't like motion blur. It makes me sick. So now, Bizink. So if you, want to enable this go ahead but my my uh, perspective is here try without it if you see any tears on your uh, uh graphics then do turn it on i like ray tracing because with the dlss 3 it makes everything look really nice now by any chance if this does not work for you turn it off if you if it works for you and you have this other options what you're going to show you is you have three other options you have amd fidelity f3 and also the temper uh temporal resolution and of course this all depends on the graphic card that you're using i'm gonna go with nvidia dlss3 but i'm also if it doesn't work for you always go with the tsr that is a very good option after this we're gonna go with the quality resolution and we also have balance and then we also have performance in this case i'm going to go with the balance we have the medium um, reflex low latency. This is always a good option to use because it lowers your lag input. And then we're going to move into the advanced graphics. Then we're going to set this to high because we want to do our game to look really, really crispy. You can always go epic if, it ha if your computer is able to handle it. I have a 3080 RTX NVIDIA card. So you guys know our 3080. So plan accordingly probably if you have a uh, one of the 1590s or 5080s you should be fine if you go to epic and uh, shadow quality we're going to put that to medium texture quality we're going to do that also on on high we're going to shading quality is going to be on epic this one the fx quality i'm going to set this to high and then we're going to go because i want my game to run a little bit better and also we're gonna go a uh, full uh, full light quality. And then we go this with medium, low, and I'll show you why, because of the last part here. Global illumination. This is pretty much what controls a lot of the different things in the game that enhance the lightning. So I like this on high because it's gonna make everything look much better and more alive. Okay, so we're gonna apply that change. And then we're gonna move into the game and we're gonna see the different settings that we have here. This is all up to you. Uh, if you want Xbox saves, you can turn that on, okay, or turn it off. If you want auto saves, you can do it to one, two, three minutes. I'm gonna leave it at four minutes, and then on quest complete. If you want to track the quest lines, if you want to turn, I would leave this on until you are done with the tutorial and turn it off, just so you know keep getting that. And just sometimes things don't work at the beginning, and then of course this is all um, an option is how you are able to handle the game. But I do have some points. Um, camera suede strength i always like to have it at zero because once again i don't want to get sick <laughs> because it does affect me in a way but i don't like that so as you guys are able to see there all the different things here flinch only so if you want to have a flinch or if you want a, the visual flash effect feedback always you can always leave it on what this is going to provide is during the combat making it easy to recognize successful hits when damage is taken right so we're going to leave that always because we're starting the game we want to make sure that we are on our way on on track and aiming aiming really good so aim assistance to on of course if you want to leave it off it's all up to you aim assist uh mac um magnetism this is the strength of the aim assist that pulls you towards the enemy if it's just too much you always bring it down to less 
and then of course you are able to see the different type of options dive alignment to uh, target and all the options and if you want to switch back and forth from keyboard and, and controller that is also an option we hear what uh, audio are you able to see all the different settings what i have here if you want to copy those or it's up to you how you want to handle the, your system and then we have the user interface and you were able to do this right from the beginning which you are able to it's pretty much about the user interface that you are um, looking at and it's all up to you this is more of an option which you want to how you want to choose it and but you know since the game is brand new i would probably leave compass on and all these different things on and just once you are done with it you can just always come back here and just update that and make that uh, as taxable in a different way then we have accessibility that's in regards to how big you want the user interface text i like the normal i don't like those huge two two letters i, st I can still read somewhat <laughs> Uh, that's a joke boys and then we got the camera which we already uh, updated and we also have the game which we already did we also keyboard if you are using the keyboard and controller options as you guys are able to see this is the sens uh, sensitivity that you guys have so control vibration i always like it off i never like it on i don't know why people like it on i just don't like it and then of course you got um, all the different options invert control off and off if you want to do that and then also uh, control presets that you guys are able to see there the different control movements that you have and also different actions that you are able to do so um, that you're going to be able to um, go go in the game so if you want to change all of that you can always change the different presets or you can come here to this area here which is the control preset you go default or you go south path paw right so it's all up to you so now that we made those changes, let me show you on how to optimize your game on your PC with the different settings. Okay, so here we have a couple of settings. Um, all you have to do is go in on your search on your computer and just click game settings. It's going to take you to this game mode. Make sure you guys have this on, especially if you are using Windows. In this case, you are probably because of the early access or you're using uh, the uh, Game Pass for a PC turn that on that it hugely improves your game it makes it a lot run a lot better and then we have a couple of graphics here make sure you guys are able to also turn that on because it will accelerate your gpu which is a really really good option and then after this we're going to go to the game bar and we're going to make sure that uh, when you are here you're able to see here that that this is turned off because if you turn it on sometimes it doesn't work well and um, it just lags your game. So it's better to have that off. And then of course, if you got it on game mode, turn that on and captures. If you wanna capture anything, make sure it's all of this is turned off in the background because if it's not turned off, then that is gonna affect the way you're going to be able to um, optimize your game and the way it's going to be able to run. It's not gonna run as smooth. So there you go. Those are the different settings that you should be okay running your game other than make sure you update your graphics, update your drivers, update your motherboard. If you haven't update, updated your, your latest graphic card, which will happen maybe had an update like about five days ago, make sure you do all of that. Other than that, you should be okay. Xbox does a well job on optimizing the game. And if you're running this on Steam, make sure that you do all these other changes that I mentioned as well with the game bar, because that also works as well with the uh, game bar and the game settings. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.